Page 42, Dona Nobis Pa something or other. I don't speak Latin, I don't know. It's grant unto us peace thing. It's a, it's a religious choral thing. I think what they're trying to get across here is the idea of, of rounds or counterpoint where you have a melody sung by different voices at different times, like a canon type thing. And they give you the melody there on page 42 in the middle of the page there, those three lines. That's the full melody. The whole thing, all three lines is the full melody. But in this piece, it's going to be done by different voices at different times. This is a really nice piano solo arrangement. I like this very much. So let's talk about it. Three, four time with one flat. It's in the key of F major. Right hand first. Now it's extremely important that we understand that we're playing multiple voices at the same time. It's not just harmony. Now it's actually melodies that harmonize together. So at the beginning you get the simple melody and the fingering is up to you. I do a two, four here and then so I'm in this position really and here. And again, I'm playing it all legato. And then for the eighth note, I, I do a fourth finger on it. You don't have to. There's other fingerings. You can experiment and come up with your own if you want. That's what I recommend. And then for the second line, now we got two voices. We, the small notes, that's our... What we just did. This would be another voice that's starting where the first voice that started the first line, now they're singing the top note, which is the second line of the melody. Now we got both together. Make sure you hold the half note down. And that C is tied. And then the third line down, the left hand comes in too, but let's just stick with the right hand here. It's basically the same thing. And hopefully you can hear both of these lines of this melody at the same time when you do that. And then top of page 43, it gets a little more involved. Now we, Let's get kind of showy here. It's here, here, one four on the A F, and then you got to come up to Kit's chord. Pen will help out here. Just try and do it eventually so the the beat is steady. It's not a fast P. And they're saying here because you got it too. the two notes down and then up here and that's just a quarter note so second line second measure this is a little tricky the D is tied so you hang on to it don't play it again so we'll use the pedal to help us connect this but just hang on to that D And the broken chords up. The, the, the first note of the each measure, that's the one you bring out. That's the tenuto. Bring that up. Hang on to it. No. Those are quarter notes. So try and play them. I'm hanging on to it. Chords, it's the same chord, different octave. And then broken chords again, I'll come back to that. And then the last measure of that fourth line is here. It's two, I recommend you immediately substitute a one. Play it with second finger and then put your thumb on it. So you're ready to go on. Here so I can connect it. Because that F at the end of the measure, that's a quarter note. 
And then here, bring out the top note there with the two note toll. And now, last two measures, look out. That C is a half note. But now, you see that on this chord, there's this, the, the stem of the note goes down to the bottom staff. That is this publisher's way, and other publishers use it too, of telling you to play that note in that staff, the bottom staff, with this with the right hand. So the chord that they want you to catch that E with the right hand, so it's here. Catch them all together, and the next the same thing. Do the the F and the A with the right hand. You can do it with the left. You clear down here. So the last two measures. left end. What's going on? Well, the left end doesn't come in until the third line on page 42. You're here. And this is, this is the third line of that melody. And when you're first doing it, play the legato. I'm hoping you can get the left hand. Let's put the hands together starting with the third line when they are together because the right hand does the first two lines so you're here see here you're hearing all three lines of that melody at the same time now Page 43, we get fancy. Here it's come up. The left hand, it's quarter note, it's treble clef, it's just an F chord. C, C chord, and come back down. And here, last measure. Thumb in the left, left hand. Yeah, remember the D's tied? And then go on. Down here. Remember the top note is a quarter note. Break the wrist on these. It's got to be a fluid. Uh, It's the first note we want to hear. So hold it down. Here, so the left hand has a quarter or a half note with treble clef. It comes over. Now hold the B flat down. you get that you can go back and put in the articulation let's kind of do articulation and dynamics to speed this up it's it's soft at the beginning slur go ahead and lift up between these slurs now between the second and third measure or the third and fourth measure excuse me that's not that should all really be one slur but it gets back to this they won't draw a bar line or they won't draw a slur over a bar line but that's not how you interpret it. It's like it's all one slur. I mean, you can't have it connected because it's the same note, but you, otherwise you think connected. And then you lift up. Now here they did a, a slur over two, bar, two bars. I, I'm, I can't believe it. The second line, you're still soft here. Both melodies are the same. One isn't louder than the other. And now all three melodies are the same. You don't use, this isn't where you bring out the melody, because it's all melody. It's a, and I would, slur, I would connect this left hand until you get to there. So I'd connect. We 
we get to the top of page 43. You're building up in sound a little bit, but stay on the soft side. And then here. Now you're going to crescendo up just a little bit to moderately loud, but not until the last measure of that line. Now you're moderately loud. That, everything. least a moderately soft to a soft in there and you're staying soft here. And bring now you're going up to very loud here. And again don't go get relax and crest I don't know how to explain it exactly but you're relaxed and your wrists are loose but you're using a lot of weight to get these down. I tend to want to push in toward the fallboard when I do this. Some people will pull out toward themselves when it's a, I don't know, it's a. I come down, I come down to a little, about a, here, at least a what, moderately loud to moderately soft in there. That's an accent on that note. Just bring it out a little bit. Not a big accent, just an accent. And then here, it's this is loud. And that's an accent on the F. And all our gondo means spread it out, which means slow it down. And it's, it's loud. You don't have to get very loud, it's just loud at the end. Now we need the pedal to help us with the overtones and to connect things because otherwise it's a bit dry and choppy. Now on page 42 we want that to be clean and dry. I mean this is just, you're, you're gradually starting. So you want this to be clean. No overtones, no extra, it's just like a solo voice doing its thing. And then you have a duet. Two voice, still clean. And then the third line is like a trio. But it's still clean. But now when we get to top of page 43, we get fancy. Now we want the overtones and we need some help in connecting the notes because our hands moving around and we lose the notes. It's going to be lagging pedal, that is the hands go down first and then the pedal follows. So I want to start the sound before I release the dampers, is the effect. So at the top of page 43, it's here. Notes first, then the pedal. And I'm going to lift the pedal up with the hand so there's a little silence between the, the measures. So again, those two measures. And I'm, I'm not pedaling this part. Well, I disagree with that. Let's talk about it. I want some help connecting this. I want that connected. I need the pedal to help me do that. So I'm going to pedal the first beat of that to help me connect the melody. Just that. And that's the only reason I'm pedaling. I just want some help connecting the note. Like so. And then you pedal the C. To, that's to add color. Because we don't connect it. We want silence before we go on. We're just adding color. And then we go on. So that line there is this way. Here, again, I'm connecting it. This is the second line. Second, first and second measure. I'm connecting it to help me connect the notes. Because I can't do it with the fingers. Here. going to also pedal the eighth note, the second eighth note, here, because I want more help to connect to that. I can't do this. I can't connect that with the hands, and I want it connected, so I'm going to use the pedal to help me out here. So the second line, first measure, no pedal. Here, pedal. Now here, pedal that, and then change it. 
that's overlapping pedal there. You change the pedal after you play the notes. So it's... And then lift up so we get silence before we go on. Now here we're pedaling because we want the overtones. We want the fullness of sound. Otherwise it would be dry. It would... That's not what we want. And I would overlap pedal this. They're showing a, a break between the measures in the pedal. I find that a bit choppy, so I would overlap this myself. And again, overlap it. We're doing that for the overtones mainly and to help us connect the notes. Here, on these chords, we want the overtones and, and connecting them, but it's mostly for overtone. Now, I would connect the last measure of the third line to the first measure of the fourth. I would overlap all of that together. The way they have it is there's a silence there. No, I would overlap all that, connect all that together. Solace for you to go on. Don't don't pedal the last beat. Because we can connect this. We don't have to connect the left hand. That's what we want. But do this. Put the pedal down on the first beat, not the second. Connect all that together. Don't do this. No. Connect that together. This and this go together. So put the pedal down on the quarter note. And then you can... I would connect it to this too. Here, I would not pedal it to the second beat. Here. So the last line is here. all that together. They're saying no, have a little silence. I don't care for that at the end of it. It's a style. Some people like that style. I don't. I want them connected. I want it to flow a little better. So those last two measures, I'm pedaling on the second beat. Make sure you hold the half note down. And then overlap the rest of it. And then the pedal and the hands and everything come up together. And that's basically what I think this This is a Andante. It's a nice leisurely pace. Just take your time with it. It's a wonderful solo.